Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I'm joined today with Mabud of Winthrop University. Mabud, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Now, congratulations on this series. You guys put up a dominant performance up against the sixth seed in Dare Gaming. Explain mm -hmm. to me the strategy you guys took to close out the series 2-0. Um, well, we, we did some prep a couple, like 30 minutes beforehand. We, we had a pretty solid draft going into it and we, no flame, but we kind of just knew we were better. So we were just like, if we can be IMT, we can kind of shaft there. And that's exactly what happened. So it was just gaps. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the mentality to have. Now talking about draft, you got target banned or got the, a lot of those top side bands pretty heavily. So what is kind of the discussion and decision making process when you know that they're just trying to, you know, get you off of, you know, what's meta or what's good? Yeah. Well, I know they're scared for sure. Um, I have a champion ocean to be honest. So you can try and ban me out, but I'm just going to find something else to pick. Um, like that game, I was playing Shen. Uh, I don't even really play Shen, but it worked out. So I feel like it's kind of a waste to ban to ban me out, and it just makes me it just lets me know that that you're scared. So it works out. Yeah, absolutely. Champion Ocean is a great way to describe it. Now you guys have pulled out two winning series against higher seeded teams. How does this have you guys feeling going into playoffs? Uh, we feel pretty good getting first seed. Um, I feel like it's it's kind of weird though that that they're higher seed, they're higher seed than us, but um, it is what it is, I guess. But it feels it feels pretty good going into playoffs. I'm pretty excited to see who we're gonna go against. Um, yeah. I think there's there's some good teams for sure in like the top four. I'm excited to play against Maryville specifically. I kind of I kind of want to test myself against Niles because I feel like I kind of. I've watched a lot of his streams and his, his VODs and stuff, so I think he's a really good player, and I'm excited to, to finally play against him. Absolutely. That would be an interesting matchup. You know, two of the top CLOL teams. Are there any other teams you're kind of looking forward to playing at the, you know, higher end of this tournament? Um, not really, no. I think, like I said, the top four teams are pretty good, so it's I'm excited to see how we, how we match up against them, but mainly just Maryville got my eyes on because also like the the rivalry between them last last year as well so absolutely well you guys are out for blood in that one now you guys play some pretty amazing team fights it seems that they're super patient super thought out how did you guys kind of develop this like play style in these team fights um i think we just keep our communication clean and we kind of like designate targets that we're going to be focusing down and usually it just goes well because we're all pretty good mechanically so it's like if we if we have one target that we're, we're we're trying to burst down or whatever and we're playing well then it's like pretty smooth and like we look for flanks and stuff like that and flank you know when, when we get a good flank off like in the first game it's just like a, a wash basically so yeah well the other teams will have to look out for those flanks Thank you so much for chatting with me today, um, and congratulations on another series win. Our casters will return after a short so break to take a look back at today's series, so stay tuned.